Let's dive in our Escorte Small Group Italian Classic, the ideal choice for those who are visiting Italy for the first time and don't want to miss the massive spot. The complete itinerary starts from Milan, next stop is Venice, then Florence, Rome and Sorrento for a total of 11 nights. But it's possible to choose uh, different options. You can start in Venice and end in Sorrento for a total of 9 nights, or you can start in Venice and end in Rome for a total of 6 nights according to your preferences. In this video I'm going to tell you everything, but before let me list what makes our escorted small group tours by train really unique. Now, first of all, the tour leader will be at your disposal for the entire duration of the trip. We include only 4 stars hotels carefully selected and we call it 4 stars international standard. It's important to say that the hotels you are staying in are the ones that are promoted on our website, on our brochure, so we don't change the hotels last minute, and this is very important. Also, you will travel by train, but you will travel in first class, not in second class, and this makes a huge difference in terms of comfort, in terms of services abroad, on board. Okay. Our tours are eco-friendly and low carbon, and sustainability is very important nowadays. Every guide tickets, activities is included in the price, so no surprise, no fee at destination. Luggage transfer always a guarantee for a lightweight stress-free holiday because we're using luggage baths to move luggages from city to city, so you, you will travel by train without having to bring your luggage with you. A calendar of guaranteed departure with minimal two participants. This means that you have the guarantee that you will depart in any case. So and now let's talk about the itinerary, this fantastic itinerary. Day one, Milan, welcome to Italy. First of all, which hotel you are staying? We selected for you the fantastic Star Hotels Eco, located in the city center near the railway station. Four stars, international standard, really super. Today, you are going to meet the tour leader, and the rest of the participant. The afternoon is dedicated to the discovery of this uh, posh and modern Italian city. So you will take part of a prior guided walking tour of the city center and you are going to discover the Dome, La Scala, the shopping district, or okay, the most massive attraction that may, they are making Milan so popular all around the world. At the end of the walking tour, you are going to take a fantastic aperitivo, okay, like in the tradition of Milanese people, in order to enjoy uh, the evening. Day two, Lake of Como. After breakfast, you are going to take a regional train that in only 40 minutes will take you to Como. The entire day is dedicated to the discovery of this fantastic city and the Lake of Como, thanks to a cruise that is going to bring you up to a Bellagio, okay, the, the so-called Pearl of the Lakes. So it will be a fantastic day uh, immersed in the splendid lakeside, uh, looking villas, gardens, and enjoying uh, uh, the Como way of living. At the end of the afternoon, you're going to take your regional train back to Milan, where you're going to be for dinner. Day three, from Milan to Venice. After breakfast, you're going to take a nice speed train to Venice, uh, where you will be in a little bit more than two hours. Let me explain one important aspect of your stay in Venice. We have chosen for you a fantastic new hotel located on the island of Buran, Murano. This hotel is called NH Murano Villas. And why we choose these hotels? Because of its location. Okay. It's not on Venice Island, but it's in Murano Island that is uh, fantastic, much less crowded, okay, where you can feel okay, real, authentic Venetian way of living. Once in Venice, you're going to take a boat to Murano and you're going to check into your hotels. No, luggage, no worry about your luggage because your luggage will be already there waiting for you. The rest of the ADA is dedicated to the discovery of Murano Island, okay? and the glass blowing art in the traditional furniture. Return to your hotels and join the welcome dinner served on the terrace of the fantastic NHA Murano Villas overlooking the entire Laguna of Venice. 
day two in Venice. Today you will explore the floating city. Take advantage of the Vaporetto Pass that is included in our tours to move freely across the historical city center of Venice. Your professional guide will take you through the narrow alleys, canals and small bridges to discover the main attraction. You will see Rialto Bridge, Piazza San Marco, okay, all the massive spots of the famous Venice, the floating city. Rest of the day, free time for you, dedicated for shopping, souvenirs, or to explore okay, uh, the city by your own. From Venice to Florence. Today, the group is moving from Venice to Florence just after breakfast, uh, taking high-speed train that in only two hours will let you arrive in the art of the Italian Renaissance. In Florence, you are staying two nights uh, at the very, very good, uh, excellent uh, Star Hotels Michelangelo, right in the city center. Once arrived in Florence, okay, without worrying about your luggages because they will be already at your hotels, you are going to start a fantastic walking tour of the city center. You will be guided by a private professional travel guide that will tell you everything about this magical city. Rest of the day at leisure to discover the city at your home. Morning at your disposal. You can ask your travel guide to arrange you a tour of the Uffizi or to see the Academia, it's up to you. Or you can even walk around, okay, at leisure. Just after lunch, it's time to discover Siena and Chianti, the magical Tuscany countryside. Thanks to a regional train, traveling first class, you will be in Siena in only one hour. And you're going to take part to a private walking tour of this fantastic medieval city of Siena, where you're going to discover okay, the secret of uh, the Palio, the secret of the Dome, okay, the city, the secret of this fantastic city. You will explore the best of Siena as to offer, and our guide will take you along the ancient streets of Siena to the most beautiful sites. Then continue towards a traditional farms and winery where we learn about the winemaking process from grape to glass. At this fantastic winery, you will enjoy a food and wine tasting session of Chianti, wines and local products. Finally, around nine o'clock in the evening, return to Florence by regional train. Today, it's time to go from Florence to Rome. Just after breakfast, take a nice speed train traveling first class, and in only two hours, you will be in Rome, the Capo di Mundi. In Rome, we have chosen for you the Massimo D'Azeglio Hotels, a very nice four-star property okay, located just in front of the railway station in a very, very strategic position. Sit back, relax, check in, and then in the afternoon, take part of a fantastic guided tour through the alleys of Baroque Rome. You can admire the most representative sites such as magical Piazza Navona and the famous Pantheon. We, we, you will always have the opportunity to make a wish throwing a coin in the legendary Fontane Trevi. The rest of the evening will be free and then you will relax in your hotel room. Day two in Rome is dedicated to the discovery of the city starting from the Vatican Museum. Let me explain why uh, in our tours is included an Oponopov uh, 24 hour pass in Rome. Simply because uh, we wanted to give our participants the possibility to move easily in the city of Rome, and Oponopov is by far the best solution. Together with your tour leader, you're going to reach the Vatican Museum where a professional guide will wait for you. And thanks to the Skip the Line ticket, we'll let you discover the Vatican Museum, Sistina Chapel, and uh, St. Peter Basilica in a very, very complete uh, and professional way. Once the Vatican Museum tour will be finished, you will have half a day at leisure okay, to visit whatever you prefer in Rome. You can reach the main tourist attraction with your open up of ticket. So, if you want to go to the Colosseum, not a problem. If you prefer to visit the uh, catacomb, not a problem as well, okay, because this open up of ticket will let you or will bring you whatever you want among the main Roman 
touristic attraction. Today is the time to move towards Sorrentin Peninsula. After breakfast, take a nice speed train to Naples, where you will be in only 60 minutes. A tra private transfer will wait for you at the Naples railway station to bring you to Sorrento, stopping in the magical and extraordinary Pompeii. Thanks to a professional guide, you will have the possibility to experience and to visit this fantastic and famous archaeological park in a three hours guided private tours. At the end, continue to Sorrento, where you will be in less than one hour. In Sorrento, we have chosen for you the Grand Europa Palace Hotels, because it's a very traditional, very nice postal property right in front of the sea. I'm sure that this will be the best solution for you. During your stay in Sorrento, the uh, dinners will be included and served at the hotel. After breakfast, it's time to discover the magical island of Capri. Together with your tour leader and a professional guide, okay, you're going to take an hydrofoil directly from Sorrento Harbour up to the island of Capri. Once there, okay, you will have the full day to discover the beauty of this magical place. Walk along the most beautiful streets until the Augustus Garden. Here you can see the famous Faraglioli, the distinctive rock. Take a spritz in the Piazzetta, okay, worldwide famous. Visit the village of Anacapri or take a chairlift to Monte Solaro. It will be a fantastic day, full of things to do, full of fantastic places to visit. At the end, take the hydrofoil back to Sorrento, where the dinner will be served at your hotels. At the end of the tour, you need a relaxing day dedicated to shopping or discovery of Sorrentino Peninsula. So there are no activities okay, today. You can customize your days as you want, thanks to the support of your tour leader. If you want to go to visit Positano or Amalfi, it's not a problem. We can arrange a day trip for you. If you want to get lost in Sorrenti streets and have a nice pizza, no problem. Our tour leader okay, is there to help you and give you the right suggestion. So, last day in Sorrento is a full day at leisure that you can customize as you want. Dinner will be served at your hotel. Now this incredible journey throughout Italy has finished. Thanks to the train, we managed to travel in a low carbon way and a sustainable way. We can't wait to get in touch with you and have you on board on this fantastic small, small group tour by train.